Welcome inside Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar, Pennsylvania. It's the Flyers Cup YouTube channel powered by SFBN. As we get ready here for a nice matchup in the four versus five game, the Holy Ghost Prep Firebirds against the Father Judge Crusaders. My name, Bob Rotruck. Play-by-play -play is coming up here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel powered by SFBN. Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student-athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAY-EASY. Back inside Hatfield Ice Rink here, Hatfield Gray in Colmar. The 44th Flyers Cup, the tradition continues. It was almost exactly two years ago that we had the pandemic and the COVID shutdown for the NBA and the NHL. So kind of appropriate here that this opening round game in the four versus five would come almost on the anniversary here on March 10th. And it was March 11th, really, that the leagues started shutting down, including the Flyers Cup two years ago. We had the Flyers Cup last year. Hey, that was great. But now we've got the fans back as well. We'll have the big atmosphere here. And, and we have Holy Ghost Prep, and they're wearing the white. And they'll be working from our right to our left with Jason Sewell in goal for the Firebirds, led by head coach Gump Whiteside. And it's the Crusaders wearing the blue for Father Judge and head coach Jim Morrison. Matthew Devine is on the draw here against Landon Stout for Holy Ghost Prep. Stout wins the faceoff. It's nudged back into the Holy Ghost zone, and here after it for Father Judge is Colin Walsh. It's pulled away by Ghost. Ghost won a Thanksgiving matchup, or Thanksgiving-ish matchup, against Father Judge here at 9-2. Father Judge comes out of the Interscholastic Scholastic Hockey League, and now here's a drive all the way in on Colin McKee, who hangs on, and a little bumping there, and already a penalty right from the start of this game, and so... We'll see what we have here. Colin McKee, not only the goaltender, but also the two-year captain for the Father Judge Crusaders. 71 Blue Minor Cross Jack. Okay, we can hear a loud and clear Jack Unger, or I should say 71 Blue. Sean Miller for Father Judge is on the cross check and Holy Ghost Prep. Perhaps a date with Malvern Prep, the defending state champions, coming up next week if they can get past... Father Judge here today. Holy Ghost got off to a good start this season, and then, you know, they, they just couldn't get the wins, even sometimes playing well, and it just wasn't happening for them quite as much. But uh, Malvern Prep, they're, they're, it's not like they're an undefeated team. It could be a very interesting second-round matchup for Holy Ghost Prep. On the faceoff, it's Sean Marshall, and it's knocked all the way back out to the Holy Ghost side. Brian Butler is one of their top players, and he'll fly back there. And to set things up, back of goaltender Jason Sewell. And he's trying to bring it out, but now he's kind of guided back, pursuing after him as Matthew Devine. Now here comes Brian Butler. He can fly. He's going up the left wing. He's shooting. McKee stick save and a rebound. That might have been off the right pad there 
of McKee. It's gobbled up in the corner. And there's Michael Holt who swoops over to the right wing and backhands it up high. Colin Moore is there, plays it around the wall with 125 to go on the power play for the Firebirds of Holy Ghost Prep here in this opening matchup at the AAA level of the Flyers' Cup. Moore cross ice. Well, he wasn't quite ready for it over there. It was Michael Holt who was making a move from the boards. Intercept down there in the corner. It'll be cleared all the way down by Devin Mallon. Good work for Father Judge here and the Crusaders in the blue on the penalty kill. It's a big PK for them. Trying to get some momentum here in this game after the early penalty. Brady Basher back there. He's kind of hounded and hawked and hanging on to it right up against the boards. Now Stout passed through center. Missed Basher but scooped up by Lombardo into the, across the line but not far enough. And coughed up the puck. Gavin Amlung is there for the long clear for Father Judge. Down to 35 seconds to go on a power play and they had... They had the one push from Brian Butler on the shot on the move, but otherwise the power play kind of slow to get started for Holy Cross. And there was Holy Ghost, I should say. And there's another intercept. Here comes Father Judge again. Holy Ghost in the zone. Stout, high slot. Centering pass. Just missed Sean Moore on the give from Brady Bajor. Out in front. Oh, nice save off the left pad there for McKee. Right there on the doorstep, had a chance. More on the right boards. We're back to five on five. Sean Miller out of the box after he served his cross check. Now a little bit of a two on two, maybe a three on two, broken up. Hustling back, Sharon Chambers. Got a knock on the puck to pull it away. Dominic Lombardo is into the zone. Oh, what a nice fancy move. Gotten into the slot. Give it down low to Lombardo from Bezier. Couldn't get off the shot. Lombardo pushed it wide from the right dot. Goes back over to the corner for Holy Ghost. And Bezier is going to come off. Centering pass. Bounces away. Father Judge couldn't clear. Scooped up and curled in behind the goal for Moore. Out in front. Jammed on. And off the side of the net. Kieran Mulholland is there. Turnaround shot for the right dot. McKee ready for a nice pad save. Keeping his team into this thing early. On that shot from Ronnie Selzer. Point shot. That might have hit a leg in front. It goes wide of Colin McKee over to the corner. Shots are five to nothing early, but some nice stuff there for Father Judge goaltender Colin McKee. Back from the Holy Ghost side, setting it up again as Colin Moore in a lead pass. Bouncing puck is all the way in. Here in this four versus five matchup, a couple players go crashing out. Ronnie Selzer is down. Uh, there's an injured player here for Holy Ghost, and Selzer went in awkwardly while he was colliding and crashing out with a father judge player. I thought it might have been his leg that, that was bothering him, but Selzer is, is really hurting with a couple of his teammates watching on here. With 13.27 to go in the first period and a nothing nothing score. Boy, he's really having a tough time as this young man, Ronnie Selzer. The winner of this game to advance to the semifinals one week from now, and it's been a couple weeks since these teams have played. So, you know, you, you get back into it, and, and now obviously the intensity is ratcheted up significantly when you're talking about the Flyers' Cup. Well, cells are sitting up, so that's a good sign. The other AAA matchup today has St. Joe's prep against the 6 seed Cardinal O'Hara. He's getting up, but yeah, it was his left leg, and he's not putting any weight at all. Is Selzer as they're helping him off. Now sometimes you just, you know, you bump your knee into the boards and you hit your funny bone and it's really hurting and maybe it'll bruise, but it's not too bad. And sometimes it's just a matter of shaking it off and, and other times it's a matter of, you know, unable to shake it off. So we hope for the best for Ronnie Selzer, who's a junior from Wrightstown, younger brother of former player here, Mike Selzer. Look at this crowd here today, too. Isn't that nice to have the fans back? You know, two years later in the Flyers' Cup, you know, we were able to do it last year, which was nice, but it felt weird with some of the empty rinks. It's tapped all the way down ice, and now yeah, we'll do a center draw now. 
with 13-14 to go in the first period. And Father Judge is trying to hang in there to start. Brandon Barger is on the faceoff against Jason Smarin for Father Judge. Pushed into the zone for Holy Ghost. They're in after it. It's knocked out of there for Carlos Roland. Just need to kind of stay with their system and their structure as best they can and see if they can rush up and get some shots. Gavin Roush puts it around the boards. And here's Ghost Barnes trying to navigate through a couple of guys on the left wing. Jason Smarin had a piece of that, and then he ends up stealing it. Does number 17, Smarin. Hand off there to their assistant captain, Gavin Amlung. They kind of lost it there, trying to transition through center. The pass was behind Colin Howell. And there's John Saravalli who knocked it back into the zone. And the Father Judge Crusaders scooped up at center zone for Logan Barnes. Tangle up there on the boards. Colin Howell emerges, trying to get moving. Popped up in the air. And I think it touched the netting there briefly. And out of play now with 12.24 to go in the first period. So some good stuff early for Father Judge goaltender Colin McKee including a couple of saves on the Holy Ghost power play. Just being able to hang around in this game at the start and not get, get blown away at the beginning of this thing, that's, that's a good start when you talk about the ICSHL going up against the APAC. Here comes Butler. Well, he had a great chance earlier. Dangles moves in, shoots, great save, rebound. Oh, McKee got there. And he denied Dominic Lombardo point blank. A couple of fantastic stops there Well, the one shot was blocked but the other one was right there on the doorstep in front of Colin McKee Lombardo had it there for the tank it looked like an open net they're gonna need more big stops from Colin McKee in order to hang around in this game thrown all the way down ice and that looks like it's an icing against Father Judge so we'll bring the face off back to the Crusaders side uh, obviously already plenty of double-A and single-A action all week. Only six teams at triple-A this year. And so these are the first games. This is the opening game for the triple-A bracket, the prep schools here in the Flyers' Cup. And the winner to take on Malvern Prep. There's a quick shot, turnaround on to McKee, and he's got it. Lombardo trying to put it on, and also in there was John Saravalli. Malvern Prep has three losses this year. And Ghost has played them tough a couple of times, so it's not a gimme. It's never a gimme for the one seed, and, and maybe this year more so than ever. Face-off win and a shot is whistled over the glove of McKean that was cranked up by Sarah Volley over to the corner, and big body of Lombardo in after it, tried to center out in front, missed connection. Matthew Moser pushed it out to center, kind of wrestling around there, and it's knocked back in for Ryan Lippy of Holy Ghost, but they've got to back off. Now they're charging it after it. Crusaders put it to the corner. Holy Ghost on the four check, bottling things up way down there in the corner. Father Judge stays with it. Here comes Judge Moser. Dodges around Bezier. Out in front of the shot is pushed a little bit wide for Anthony Casper, one of their top players. Fired it wide to the right skate of Jason Sewell. And really the only scoring chance. It wasn't on goal, but it was their best and only scoring chance of the game so far. Moser's shot was swept away. Holy Ghost trying for a three on two. That's broken up. Casper up there for Moser from the left circle. Shooting, and there's a pad save off the left leg there for Ghost goaltender Jason Sewell. Here's a shot flying back in the other way. That's bounced away from Kyla McKee on the move was Brady Bezier. Good action early out in front. Oh, what a save again. Colin McKee standing on his head. And with a left pad stop on Brady Bezier. Shots are 9-1 to one with 10 and a half to go in the first period and still a nothing-nothing score because of Colin McKee. He's been that good. Stout. Giddy up up the left wing. Here he goes. Dangled and pushed off his stick. Score! It's Sean Moore on the back door. It kind of rolled off of his stick there and goes over to Sean Moore with 10.22 to go in the first period. And Holy Ghost breaks through for a 1-0 lead. Moore was right there to bury it on their 10th shot of the game. One zip, Ghost, and shots 10-1. to one. It's an early hot start, and really it should be worse than one nothing. The Keys made a couple of really good ones. All the way in the Father Judge zone, Devin Mallon is trying to knock it out of there. He's got Colin Myers there with him. Ronnie Selzer back out there. That's the kid that was hurt earlier. So 
nice to see him get back out there onto the ice. And, and as I said, sometimes you, you bump your, your knee and your funny bone and it hurts like crazy. And sometimes you're okay a few minutes later and that appears to be the case for Ronnie Selzer who was really hurting, but good to see him. Here's Colin Myers up the left wing for Father Judge trying to get it going. Selzer on the back check and kind of got him up against the boards and knocked him down. A shot from the behind the blue line actually for Ilya Kudzino and it's knocked away for Jason Sewell. Father Judge on the attack again. It's a little one on two, kind of one and done's for Judge. There's Howell rolling around the boards deep in the zone. Hustling back to retrieve as Brian Butler pushes it around the boards and connects with Zach Kurz. Couldn't get it out. Bouncing puck over to the right wing corner. Gavin Rouch is there. Centering and had a couple of sticks trying to tip it, including Colin Howell and Jason Smarin. Neither one could get a piece. And now almost a two on one. Here they come. And a little dangle there around McKee. Mulholland looking for Barger for Holy Ghost and couldn't quite connect. With 8.48 to go in the first period and a 1-0 score. A little weak shot from the left boards. Brandon Barger laying down the paddle. Was Colin McKee for Father Judge for the save. Here's Michael Holt scooping it up at his own blue line. Trying to dangle through center. It was knocked away. And coming back after Matthew Devine had that poke. Here comes Judge. Bouncing puck. Rolled back out to center. Miller tying it up right underneath us. Devine trying to pull it away. And he does. And Devine up the right wing has a man in the middle centering and a shot. Goes a little bit wide from Colin Walsh with Jason Sewell ready for it, moving to his left. He would have made the pad save if the shot had been on target. Well, Judge getting a little bit of an offensive push, at least some zone time for them. Brian Butler down there in the corner. They kind of seal that off very quickly. Matthew Devine caught up to him. Two big bodies trying to pull it away. Here's a shot after, you know, Judge just out-muscled him for the puck in the corner and the drive for Devine was the save for Jason Sewell. Bouncing puck all the way down, jabbed in and scored! Michael Holt just won the foot race for that puck. Michael Holt gets there to it and poked it through five hole on McKee with 7.47 to go here in the first period and it's a two to nothing lead for Holy Ghost on the goal for number 22, Michael Holt. The, the, the puck just squirts out of there and he splits two D and he beats him for the puck, he just won the race and got there first, and that was the difference maker. Off the face-off, and Holy Ghost with a 2-0 lead now. Again, they, be they beat Father Judge in a crossover game earlier this year, 9-2. That was back at Thanksgiving, so you never know. Father Judge 4-0-3 in their league. But again, that's out of the ICSHL, and you're going up against an APAC team. Here for the high slot. Flipped in, down low. Nice pass, Marshall. And he shoves it in, and they score, and it is three to nothing. And that was Sarah Volley on the back door, and it was. Sarah Volley from Marshall. And Father Judge is going to take a timeout here. Sarah Volley just sneaks in and slips through underneath the D. They scored them back to back just 24 seconds apart. With 7.47 left in the first, it was Michael Holt. And now it's 7.23 left. It's John Saravalli, number 12. On a really nice feed from number 23, Sean Marshall. Saravalli is a junior from Ivyland, Pennsylvania. And the son of assistant coach John Saravalli, who's been at Holy Ghost for 18 years and so much tradition in that family. His older brother had won a Flyers Cup, what, 15 years ago. Three to nothing now. And a timeout for Father Judge and head coach Jim Morrison wanting to talk it over. The early on slot and, and goaltender Colin McKee fought him off as best as he could, but they just kept on coming eventually. I mean, go, uh, Judge had a couple of chances and a couple of pushes. Colin McKee getting some support from his teammates there. Shots are 14 to two, and the score is three to nothing. And this is, you know, a, if it turns out this way and continues like this, 
This will be a nice tune-up and a nice warm-up. And, and Malvern Prep, it's not like they've been playing for the last couple of weeks. You know, there, there's a little bit of gap time before you get things started in the Flyers' Cup. And so here Ghost gets a, a little bit of a warm-up and finding their game again as well. And they can absolutely give Malvern everything they want and more in what could be a very good semifinal matchup next Thursday, which is what it looks like it will be uh, anyway at this rate, the way that Holy Ghost has dominated things so far. 17 minutes to go in the first period. Bob Rotrug here with you live from Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar, PA. And the four seed, Holy Ghost, no problem handling five seed Father Judge so far anyway. It's going to be shoved in on the backhand for Colin Walsh and from way back in their own end is Patrick Sluck, and it's rolled around the boards. Brady Basher couldn't get it out. They'll try it again from the other side. A little tangle up there with Colin Moore trying to find an opening. Kept in on the left point, Devin Mallon, who rolls it in around the boards deep into the Holy Ghost zone. Colin Moore is there. And now out to center and on the move. Here comes Holy Ghost, and up the left wing, Sean Moore. Centering. Oh, nice pass, Bezier. Down low. Pass too many passes, and they bounce it around and almost hit off of his own guy. And in, Colin Myers. McGee scrambled over there. Nobody wanted to shoot. They were trying for some fancy passes. Butler is in. Glove save for Colin McKee. Brian Butler walking in all alone on the back door when it was poked to him. And, and he just flies up there straight in on McKee. And then had something to say for him and to him right after that. It might have been a little bit of a chuckler because the referee's got a smile on his face after Colin McKee looked at him. There's a shot from a sharp angle. Bottom of the left circle, Mulholland. Bounces off of McKee. The shots are now 16-2 for Holy Ghost to score 3-0. Shot from the point from Brendan Schultz. That hit off a body in front. Comes out of the left point. Ready to block it going down was Robert Catalo. And instead... Uh, little fake and that shot was tipped upstairs and out of play and now with 5.45 to go in the first period and the face off is circle right of their captain and goaltender Colin McKee with Owen Sherwin on the draw against Ronnie Selzer the junior who was injured earlier in this period but thankfully is okay from behind the goal and a cutting Mulholland going in for a backhander it ends up going on to goaltender Colin McKee, who hangs on. You know, helping his team out here with some whistles and some resets. Maybe not the worst thing in the world. And giving them a chance to win a faceoff and try to get it out of there. Jason Smarin will be on the faceoff against Ronnie Selzer. Selzer wins that draw on the backhand. You know, so you're hoping to win a draw, but you actually do have to win it. Shot from the point was bounced away. Another try was kind of hopping there on Zach Kurz and punched away by McKee. Shots are now 19-2. And the score is 3 to nothing. Holy Ghost. It's cleared away by Father Judge. That'll be an icing. And we're going to bring it all the way back to the Father Judge side. You know, mentioning earlier that Holy Ghost got off to a decent start this year. And then they just couldn't get over the hump in some of their games that were very tight, including against Malvern Prep. They finished 1-5-1 in the APAC. And I, I think the, the general consensus is, yes, these guys could make some noise if they can find their chemistry. The, the talent is there. All the way back to the right point and a shot swallowed in by McKee on the long drive from right point by Ryan Lippy. Well, Colin McKee is getting a workout and you know, you can tell the father judge players are a little down here on the other side of the timeout and a 3-0 deficit. Need to get out there and block some shots. Here is Michael Fontaine on the faceoff for Father Judge with 5.05 to go in the first period. Well, Holy Ghost is winning all the draws. And another faceoff win. Another quick shot was Ryan Lippy from the point, And another one right into the glove of Colin McKee. So, Crusaders in desperate need of a faceoff win. Fontaine will try to get that win. Kind of knocked it up there for Anthony Casper and out the center. So that's something. And now Casper picks it up from Lippy And a hard collision there on the blue line of Father Judge, or of a Holy Ghost, rather. Ghost scoops it up, and Michael Holt is burning up ahead of steam, up the middle, and a bouncing puck kind of goes in behind Brandon Barger. Couldn't get off the shot. Lippy will shoot. 
spotted through you know pretty easily through not much traffic for Colin McKee to shove that over into the corner. McKee's been great. Another shot from the left wing corner. That wasn't dangerous, but McKee will smother that and get a whistle now with 429 to go in the first period. He made some fantastic stops to begin, really acrobatic stuff, keeping it at a nothing-nothing game. But Sean Moore with 10.22 left, Michael Holt with 7.47 left, and then John Saravalli from Sean Marshall, just 24 seconds later, bang, 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 and it went from a tight game to a 3-0 game, and it was timeout Father Judge. Well, Holy Ghost has not scored since that timeout from Father Judge. Off the faceoff and a win for Holy Ghost. Roll it around to the left wing corner. There's Sean Marshall there, a little tangle up in the corner. Bouncing puck out in front, traffic. And trying it there was John Saravalli along with Lombardo. Might have hit off of the key. And Father Judge pushed it away. Now they're going to settle it and peel back and start it up again. Here's Father Judge, lead pass from Gavin Amlung. And Moser couldn't quite corral that. Sails all the way down to Patrick Slick. And then through center. Scooped up for Carlos Rowland. And Father Judge will throw it all the way down ice. No icing. Slick's got to move it along. Just sort of leaves it along the end boards. Got some support and some help there in the form of Sean Marshall. And now gobbled up by Colin Moore. Ready to start the breakout. Long lead pass. And wide open up the left wing is Dominic Lombardo. Across all three lines. Little one-on-one -on -one trying to dangle there. And Amlin got a shove on him as it rolled off the stick of Lombardo and into the corner. Now Father Judge in transition. Here they come. McDivitt had a man ahead of him, but he stayed onside. Rolls it in back of the goal for Matthew Devine. Comes around to the other side, and there's Sean Marshall to steal it away again for Holy Ghost prep. Knocked into the Crusaders line as Holy Ghost changes a couple players on the go. 3-10 to go in the first period, and it was behind the blue of the red line when McDivitt fired it down ice and a little upset at himself. He just took an icing and just a stride away from getting to that red line to avoid the icing call. Yeah, they're trying to arrange the subs or the lack thereof as well. The face-off circle right of Colin McKee with Stout going up against, I think that's Matthew Devine on the face-off, and it is. And they're, they're ready to go here with 3.08 to go in the first period. And he, he won the draw, but there was nobody there to pick it up for him with Sean Miller kind of skating the other way. Butler had it on the points. Bezier there, picking it up at center. He's got a man to his right. Schultz, but Bezier will just walk in with it. Runs into traffic. Kevin Neck knocked it away. Crusaders will roll it all the way. Length of the ice and take an icing call. By the end of the Flyers Cup last year, and I got to do the, a couple of the semifinal games, and they were just great. And, you know, Malvern and LaSalle and, and you know, fun stuff. Um, the, the crowds, we, we got them going again. And that was fun. You know, we began the tournament with very small crowds and restrictions and parents and families only and various rules. And, well, it feels like we're back now, two years later, really, after last year's Flyers Cup. We were happy to have it. We were thrilled that we could do it, but it was weird. The water bottle just got knocked forward while the puck was on the side of the netting there, and Landon Stout was trying to drive it forward, and they'll blow the whistle. Boy, what a... What a kind of uh, herky-jerky rest of the period it's been with one whistle after another. A couple of guys look like they're chirping at each other a little bit. I, I don't know, but Butler and McDivitt seem to have words in the vicinity of the linesman. Here's Stout on the faceoff, walking in, swinging a miss. Jammed on McKee and a rebound, and McKee diving over there, and somehow they couldn't put it in. A couple big chances. Landed Stout way over on the right point, put it in down low for... Brady Bezier and back up high stout. It's just wearing him down here a little bit. But a block shot and carried away. Matthew Devine couldn't quite get his feet moving for the breakaway with Brendan Schultz hustling back and now offside. Schultz kind of made sure that breakaway didn't happen and hustled back on defense. Well, last year at this time at this very ice rink, they had all the construction stuff uh, on the top row and top level over there where you can see those fans leaning up against the railing and getting a good view. We weren't allowed to have any fans up there last year because it was still under construction. The various improvements here, but you know now we, we've got the real feel of the Flyers' Cup again. We had it last year somewhat too, even though it was weird. Here comes Holy Ghost in a 3-0 lead. Ronnie Selzer scooting up the right wing, trying a shot. 
Gavin Amblin was right there with him to block that shot, protecting his goalie, Colin McKee, who has seen an awful lot of vulcanized rubber today. Shots are 22 to three, so he has 19 saves on 22 shots. With almost one and a half to go on the first, that centering pass from the corner was Selzer. Bounces out of the point, Chambers put it in down low, and Sharon Chambers looking, couldn't quite connect with anyone. Zach Purs was down there. Now he's gonna back off for a change as Father Judge has the puck against Selzer. Locked one down at center. He takes a tumble and he's getting kind of beat up here in the first period. He's the kid that got slammed into the boards earlier and he fell down hard on the ice. Shot from the corner. That hit off of the post there behind Colin McKee from way over in the late wing corner. Zach Purs and I think that hit off the iron behind McKee. Somehow scored it through and here he is keeping it into the zone as Brandon Barger and now it's bounced off a stick and back out to center. Moore is going to knock that over to Chiron Chambers and throw it in deep. On the forward check, Brandon Barger got his weight in, down to 45 seconds to go in the first, and a 3-0 lead for Ghost really could be worse with the shots at 23-3, a dominating opening period here in game one of the AAA bracket of the Flyers' Cup. Here comes Holt up the left wing, trying to dangle, put on a move, poked off of his stick. And there to back him up and support and knock it in was Brandon Barger. Rolled in behind the goal. And that's Carlos Roland who will carry over to the corner. And boy, he's just looking for some help and support with two four checkers chasing after him. He flipped it up there and Colin Myers tossed it out to center. Now Jason Smarin is in and a shot across the line. Howell was offside. They'll try to get off that shot moving in up the left wing and Colin Howell looking to fire it, but an offside whistle with just 4.5 seconds left in the first period. So we will drop the puck, and that'll be it for period number one with the shots 23-3 to in favor of Holy Ghost over Father Judge. I think we're just going to drop the puck and do it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what the hold. I think the door got jarred open. All right, a face-off win for Ghost. Yeah, I'll just carry it back in behind his own goal. We'll... Colin Moore, and that will be that. One period in the books here in game one of the AAA bracket, the four versus five game here, the AAA bracket of the Flyers Cup, and it is a three to nothing lead for the Holy Ghost Prep Firebirds over the Father Judge Crusaders. This is the Flyers Cup YouTube channel powered by SFBN. Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student-athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the Sports Fan Base Network. If you are a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAY-EASY. Bob Rotruck rejoining you live from Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar, Pennsylvania. It's a 3-0 lead for the Firebirds of Holy Ghost Prep over the Father Judge Crusaders. Shots in the first period, 23-3. Boy, some nice sportsmanship that I saw here during our quick changeover. And a quick shot from right point. Kevin Necht is all the way on to Jason Sewell, who makes his fourth save of the game for Holy Ghost. Uh, Jason Sewell, the goaltender for Holy Ghost, and a little fist bump there for Colin McKee, 
as they crossed over. I mean, it's very possible they know each other. A lot of these kids do. But still, that's some really aw awfully nice sportsmanship there from the two goalies in the middle of this Flyers Cup game. Marshall is going to weave into the zone. He's got Sarah Volley with them, and, well, that was a pretty nice combo that led to their third goal in the first period. Schultz center point, trying to thread the needle, hit off a leg and bounces a little wide of McKee, and then back out to center. Schultz has it and has all kinds of time and space, and then he couldn't do anything with it. He kind of fanned on it. Well, the ice gets a little choppy when you don't do the resurfacing after every period, of course, like they do in the pros. They try to nudge it in. Was Jason Smarin there? Jason Sewell got a piece of that. Now here comes Basher back the other way. Wanted to dangle his way through on Sean Miller. It was wise to it. Active stick. Miller knocked it over to the corner. It's a 3 0 lead for Holy Ghost over Father Judge here in this 4 5 game. The winner to play next week against Malvern Prep. Butler, a long shot from the point, was a blocker save there off the right arm of McKee. Now from behind the goal. Not quite a wraparound. He was trying to center there. It was Stout looking for Sean Moore. Misfired. Missed connection. Intercept Crusaders. Father Judge sailed it all the way down. And they take an icing call. Starting up in just a little bit will be the three versus six. St. Joe's prep against Cardinal O'Hara. And the winner next Thursday will take on the, La the, uh, the LaSalle Explorers. And the winner here taking on defending state champion and defending uh, Flyers Cup champion, too, of course, Malvern Prep. And here comes a steal for the Crusaders with Matthew Moser navigating his way in. Lost the puck. Stout's got it back. Fired that off the boards. Couldn't quite keep it in. That was an offside. Despite the best efforts of Ilya Kudzenow to keep it in, it did go behind the, the line, so play is whistled down. Here's Landon Stout to take the face off against Michael Fontaine. And now Stout's going to pick it up on the blue line, throw it over to the red line, and there's a lob all the way on to Sewell, and yeah, he's going to have to eat it there. He wanted to drop it off, but he's forced to take a face off in his own zone. What a cool tribute last week with the Flyers players wearing the jerseys of the local high school teams in honor of the Flyers Cup tournament beginning and this tournament that started with just four teams that was uh, begun by Ed Snyder to kind of grow hockey in the area. Now you get 40 schools or more in the Flyers Cup every year, 16 teams at the AA level. You get the New Jersey and Delaware section two. How cool was it to see? And here's a quick shot and a save. Well, you know what? Father Judge is coming on a little bit and Holy Ghost maybe. Feels like they took their foot off the gas some. Sean Moore chasing it down in the corner. Moser is down there for Father Judge. A couple guys are tangled up with each other. Yeah, they've untangled themselves. And Father Judge still has it in the zone, walking in front. A shot is blocked. Patrick Slut got there in front of Jason Sewell. A little one-on-two here for Brady Bezier. It's broken up and a steal and a long lead pass. Almost a two-on-one. He had McDivitt in the middle with a pass. Didn't make it through. It was cut off by Chiron Chambers. Bouncing puck has sailed all the way back to the Father Judge side. That's an icing and an offensive zone face-off here for Father Judge. And it might not sound like much, but this Crusaders team had three shots for the entirety of the first period. They already have three shots, that many, here in the first three minutes of the second period. And a couple of okay chances actually trying to break through on Holy Ghost and goaltender Jason Sewell. So Claude Giroux goes to a Flyers game wearing a St. Joe's prep jersey. I never thought I'd see that. I mean, that, that was really cool. They had him hung out in the lockers too. Flying up the left wing, Kieran Mulholland, and a save is off the left pad there of Colin McKee, who was so busy in the first period and not nearly as as active here in the second because he hasn't needed to be. Out in front on a shot that goes a little bit wide, and that one had a chance as well for Carlos Rowland, it looked like. Here comes Holy Ghost now. Up the left wing, fanned on it there, kind of rolled off the stick of Kieran Mulholland, picked up by Matthew Devine. And now walking in behind the goal, able to take it down there himself. Trying to set things up as Chambers wanted to carry it out in front. Stick traffic. Colin Walsh, the intercept, fired it out to center. Lippy there 
to start it back up again for Holy Cross. Gives it over to Barger. Tossed high in the air and a bouncing puck is settled behind the father, Judge Gould. Gavin Hamlin slams it up there. Oh, it's a steal in here. They come out in front and a shot tried there for Logan Barnes. It didn't make it through. Stepping all the way up is big Brian Butler. The puck rolls out of the left point. It bounced over the stick of Schultz. A little slippery. And on the choppy ice and rolls all the way back to the Holy Ghost side. No goals here in the second period. It's a 3 nothing score and a turnover. And here comes Judge. They're trying to center. Didn't quite make it through with McDivitt cutting for the middle. And, I mean, he was open if Devine could have gotten that pass through to him, but he didn't. Now Butler, exciting player to watch, and it rolled off his stick. He couldn't get off the shot. Schultz kept it in on the right point with Butler going to the middle. The player was tripped up down there. We had a penalty right at the beginning of the game, and now we get our second penalty of the game. You know, that just sort of reminded me. Yeah, we had that penalty about 20 seconds in, and then we went the entirety of the game so far without another one, but now it's going to be another power play. Another power play for Holy Ghost on the hooking penalty against Michael McDivitt. There were a couple of okay chances for Holy Ghost on their first power play, but really uh, it, was, it was a more impressive penalty kill for Father Judge. Uh, Ghost was good 5-on-5, five five, but their P PP to start, not so great. Butler a shot save. Rebound right there on the doorstep and Holt tried a backhander when the forehand wouldn't go. That one might have gone off of the key, too. More center point. Marshall right dot. Shot hit off the leg there. Mallon bounces over to the other side. Butler put it in behind the goal. Intercept for Devin Mallon. He couldn't clear. 1.40 to go on the power play. And now Father Judge does get a clear and all the way down ice. Back to the Holy Ghost side with 12 minutes to go. Second period. All three of the goals were scored in the first. And it looked like it was on the, on the way to becoming a rout when, you know, they finally broke through on Colin McKee. But... The Holy Ghost offensive surge has kind of slowed down some. They're back in the zone on the power play with 1.15 left on the man advantage. Settled center point. Colin Moore gives it over to the right wing. That's Sean Marshall there. Moore put it down low, looking for a tip. Saravalli had a piece of it. He knocked it wide. Scooped up Michael Holt. His pass a little off target there. So Colin Moore will backpedal. Had to go behind the blue line, and everybody's going to hustle back and touch up. John Saravalli circles back behind goaltender Jason Sewell. Under a minute to go on the Holy Ghost power play and a 3-0 lead for the Firebirds here in game one of the AAA bracket of the Flyers' Cup. Marshall works his way in. Holton Butler stayed onside. Saravalli has a left point. Bezier and Chambers are in off the bench as the puck goes down to the left wing corner and Marshall put it up high. Now top of the right circle. Bezier goes down low and it kind of bounced over the backhand try of Saravalli who chased it down off the board. 25 seconds left power play. Bezier a shot. Marshall might add a piece of that off the shaft of the stick and tipped it up over the crossbar. Chambers center point gives for Landon Stout. Now he rolled it around the boards to the other side. Bezier and they're just looking for openings and, and they're really not finding much there even though they're working the puck fairly decently. And then from behind the goal it'll be intercepted by Devin Mallon and he cleared it away. Again good work for Father Judge on the penalty kill. Chambers flies in up the right wing. Cross ice for Stout. McKee diving over there, but it's a block shot for Mallon. And good stuff. Mallon sacrificed himself. Got in front of the big blast in the left circle of Landon Stout. Now we're back to five on five as Michael McDivitt returns from his hooking penalty. Out in front. Quick shot. Turn around. McKee was positioned just right for that on the drive from Dominic Lombardo in the left slot. Hit off the left pad of Colin McKee. Really didn't have a whole lot of time to react, if any, but he was square to the shooter when the puck got there. He was ready for it and positioned right. So shots are now 28 to six and shots in the period are five to three. So after a flying start for Holy Ghost, eventually a three nothing lead. Pace has settled in here a little bit and maybe Father Judge has settled in a little bit and kind of buckling down some, you know, on the other side of that timeout. It was one goal and then a couple minutes later, bang, bang, the two goals that were 24 seconds apart for Michael Holt and John Saravalli. But then timeout was called by Jim Morrison. They kept it nothing, nothing for the duration of the first period, which, you know, that looked a little hairy a couple of times there for uh, for Father Judge. But here in the second period, it's it's been far more even. The Crusaders are kind of elevating their game to, to stay with Holy Ghost. Face-off for Owen Sherwin on the draw against Landon Stout. And Sherwin wins the face-off for Father Judge. And a pass across Colin Myers through center. And, you know, kind of nobody there. So an intercept for Brendan Schultz. 
who will put it back in behind the father judge goal. Here's Matthew Moser on the breakout. Long lead pass and going to try for that home run, but it was beyond the reach of Myers. Sails all the way down. Missed fired for everyone and untouched, so an icing call with 9.33 to go in the second period. Here at SFBN, I mean, last year I was kind of part of this, and, and I got the call from Ari Bluestein maybe two weeks earlier. Went, hey, you want to do some high school hockey games and, and call some? And, and I was available to do that, and, it, it, you know, he just got the rights and, and, and worked out the deal with Eric Ty, the president of the Flyers' Cup. Hey, let's, let's get in some further coverage. And you go back three or four years ago, these first-round games, they, they weren't being broadcast anywhere. And we've gone from that to... Last year, kind of splitting it. Here's a shot more. Makia save. It's loose in front and hit off a body in front. It just isn't going for Holy Ghost. Judge is battling and hanging on. And a couple more blocks for Colin McKee. Shots are 31 to 6 and a 3 0 lead for Ghost. Now a shot for the right board. Ronnie Selzer. That hit off a body. Put in down low. More for Mulholland. Out in front. That one. And that one hit off the right pad of McKee. Kind of came from behind the goal line. Here's Father Judge, Matthew Moser chasing it down in the corner. Trying to put a move on a little bit on Patrick Sluck and coughed up the puck. Scoot up the left wing for Kieran Mulholland, trying to center. Selzer was bumped from behind, crashes out into the end boards again. And he kind of gave a bump to the guy that got him, Ilya Kudzenow. And here comes Judge into the zone. Matthew Moser weaving over to the left wing. Hounded over there by Colin Moore. Put it over to the right wing corner with Gavin Rouch there. We're down to 8.25 to go in the second. And we haven't had any scoring in almost an entire period. The last goal came with 7.23 left in the first. And so we've been nothing, nothing for almost exactly an entire period. Turnover, Judge, and a quick shot. McKee's got it. He'll cover and hang on. That was almost right at his left ear on the shot from Kieran Mulholland, and he hangs on there. So I got to be part of this Flyers Cup for the first time ever last year, and I was so thrilled and, and had such a blast. It was a good time. And from that to this year and SFBN and the Flyers Cup YouTube channel, the exclusive provider from beginning to end. It, it, was, it was a good partnership last year, and now it's only grown this year. And Eric Ty has talked about how thrilled he's been with, with the coverage of all this. Mike Sansel did such a great job with Eric Ty as well on the selection show that they broadcast. Here's Lippy on an intercept, and that's broken up and stolen back by Father Judge. Rick Wolfel, who's kind of the local high school hockey expert, he was interviewed on that and had all the great perspectives. Here's Holt in, shooting, diving block there to knock it away, Jason Smarin. I mean, 32 shots on goal, but there have been a dozen block shots, if not more, for Father Judge. Oh, what a monster hit. Lippy just leveled Colin Howell. Lined him up from here to there. I think the referee saw it, too. I think he saw it all the way and deemed it a clean hit. But that's certainly going to get the blood boiling, maybe even on both sides. Rolled all the way down ice by the Crusaders. That'll be an icing and an offensive zone faceoff coming up. The bad blood, well, you know, if there is any between two teams, if there wasn't any, there can become some when it comes to the intensity of the Flyers' Cup, as well as the fact that, you know, especially for the seniors, it's it's the last game that you're playing in a, in, in your school's uniform. If, if you're on the losing side of the scoreboard, emotions run pretty high in this kind of an intense environment. Marshall is on the faceoff. Well, no, he isn't. Saravalli is on the faceoff. And walking in is Lombardo put it in behind the goal instead of taking it to the house. I thought it was, might be open for him. Butler a shot through traffic. McKee made the save with Lombardo there on the doorstep trying to tip. Talk about those two big bodies like Lombardo and Butler. I mean, they're, they're big guys. 6.45 to go, second period, a 3-0 game. Judge had a little bit of a push early second period, and they're trying just now to get another shot on goal. Little tip-tap there, they knock it in and score! And they weave it through, and Anthony Casper down low, put it on the backhand, past the right skate of Jason Sewell. And with 6.36 to go in the second period, Anthony Casper Gets the Father Judge Crusaders on the board, and it's 3-1. to one. After all of those saves for Kyle and McKee, keeping the score somewhat reasonable, keeping it from getting out of hand. 
And all of a sudden, Father Judge breaks through. Bezier back in, centering more. Swing and a miss while McKee was going down on his duff. Back the other way, and here comes Moser past the D. Little breakaway, and he scores! Matthew Moser! And the Father Judge fans here in the house can't believe it. It would have been a penalty had he not scored on the play. And back to back goals. Matthew Moser flying up there on the breakaway. Put it in past Jason Sewell. And suddenly three to two with goals 15 seconds apart for Father Judge. A game that at the start felt like it was too easy or going to be too easy for Holy Ghost. Has turned into anything but now. The shots were 33 to six a minute ago. Two more shots for Father Judge. Casper with 6.36 left. Moser with 6.21 left on the breakaway conversion while he was getting hooked. And suddenly a one goal game. Ronnie sells it to the left wing. And a shot is handled there and poked away by Colin McKee. And now maybe a two on one for Judge if they hurry. And nope, they're offside. A shot from the right wing that came after the whistle. Those are the first two really decent shots of the game, I feel like, for Father Judge. Maybe a couple others that were okay, but I don't think there was really that much trouble or that difficult for Jason Sewell before. And so we're past the midway mark of the game. And Father Judge gets, you know, finally they get a couple scoring opportunities after they were buried in their own zone practically forever. All right, scooting back there is Carlos Roland, hands it off to Gavin Amlung. You can tell there's, there's a bit of a perk up here for Father Judge now that they made it a one-goal game, but McDivitt lost it. A steal, a shot, a score. Barnes' shot goes off the glove of McKee and dribbles in behind him, and McKee just lost it. And a goal for, what was that, Logan Barnes. And now what do we got here? Yeah. Logan Barnes flying up the left wing. It was right there in the glove of Colin McKee. It hit him in the glove and it bounced through. 5.35 to go in the second period and the goal for Logan Barnes. Makes it a 4-2 game for Holy Ghost and all of a sudden now practically every shot is going in after we had all those saves for Colin McKee before. Holy Ghost trying to find their game. Another shot, Barnes from the right wing. Hit off the leg of Carlos Roland and bounces over to the corner. Holt was trying to center out in front for Barnes and that hit off the leg and bounces out to center. Well, Ghost, I feel like really kind of needed that goal. That, that kind of takes the air out of the balloon a little bit for Father Judge after they, they had some optimism after they, you know, were getting buried somewhat in this game, but then they climb back and make it a one-goal game. Now they're back down by two. It's a 4-2 game as the puck goes up in the air and over the glass and out of play. With 5.02 left in the second period, Holy Ghost 4, Father Judge 2. Ghost had three goals, the first from Sean Moore, Michael Holt, and John Saravalli, and now here in the second from Logan Burns. Father Judge trying to climb their way back into contention in this game. Had goals 15 seconds apart from Anthony Casper and Matthew Moser. Down 3-0, they made it 3-2, now it's 4-2. Backhander out in front, and it's stolen away by Robert Catalo, a father judge. Missed connection on the bank pass, trying to find Casper up there. Rolled all the way back to the Holy Ghost side. Hustling on the retrieval is Brendan Schultz, who rolls it around the boards, and Holy Ghost comes out to center. Pass a little too far in front of Barnes, so it sails on to Gavin Amlung, a father judge, and now bouncing over the stick of Holt, here comes Butler. And Butler, a little one on two. Oh, a nice shot and off the crossbar. Butler's an exciting player to watch. And he beat Colin McKee over the right shoulder. And he pinged it off of the crossbar. And it bounced up and out. I thought that was going to be in. Now another backhander try. Sean Marshall down low. But he flipped it across the blue. Wheeling around the zone. Saravalli carries it in behind the goal. Mary rounds looking for Schultz. And he's got him. Schultz shooting. There's a black shot. And that one's a stinger for Robert Catalo. He's down as he, and he's hurt. And now a shot of score. Deflected around. And Schultz from center point. It might have been tipped in by John Saravalli. While the Holy Ghost player, I should say the father judge player, Robert Catalo, was down. But of course they're going to let the play continue. It might have even hit off a father judge player. And Brendan Schultz is leading the high five line. So for the time being, let's give this goal to Brendan Schultz. 
with 3.58 left in the second period. While there was an injured player, but of course, Holy Ghost still had the puck, so naturally they'll let play continue. And so we went from a, a three-goal game to a one-goal game and back to a three-goal game, and Holy Ghost has, has kind of stepped it up again after they gave up the quick back-to-back -back goals by Father Judge. 3.58 to go in the second period. Shots are 36-9. to nine. Yeah, they'll announce the goal as Brendan Schultz. I, I know it changed direction, but it could have gone off of one of the defensemen for Father Judge. And uh, it appears that that might have been the case. Rolling puck spinning all the way to the Father Judge side. That was Brady Bajer who was in after it. And now it's knocked back to the Holy Ghost side. Ghost lead pass. Bajer takes it in from Sluck. And now rolled over the left wing corner. Landon Stout with Sluck behind him. Down low. More left of the cage. Try to jab it in on McKee. But kind of thudded off his stick. Maybe off the side of the net. Battles for it behind the goal. And comes away with it. Does Sean Moore with 3.10 to go. In the second period, knocked out to center. Here comes Anthony Casper, little one-on-one. -on -one. Casper shooting, glove save, and a nice one for Jason Sewell. Picked that off right above his left skate. And a nice drive for Anthony Casper, who scored the first of the two goals here for Father Judge. The winner advances in the Flyers' Cup to the semifinals next week here in the prep level in the AAA bracket to take on the defending state champions, Malvern Prep. And, and the, the state championships will be over on the Philly side this year after they hiked over to Pittsburgh last year for the teams out of the Penguins Cup. There is Ronnie Selzer on the faceoff, and we'll do it again after that whistle blows with 3.02 left in the second period. So we've got the announcers at every single rink, and this is something that four years ago, uh, th there were not broadcasts, especially of the first round games. Just wasn't a thing. Hers is in for Mulholland. And now an intercept for Mallon for Father Judge to send it out to center. It's banged right back in for Ronnie Selzer. So you can do some channel surfing too. And we've got announcers and cameras and producers, you know, at the four different rinks here. Oh, we're everywhere covering all these games. Here's Moser weaving his way in, peels back. Dangling a little bit there on Mulholland. Put it in down low to the left on, and a shot going a little wide for Devin Mallon with 2.20 left in the second period and a 5-2 lead for Holy Ghost here in this four versus five matchup with Holy Ghost out of the APAC against Father Judge from the Inter-County Scholastic Hockey League, the ICSHL. Bouncing puck all the way down. Could be a breakaway here. Yeah, Mulholland in all alone. Backhander score. It's Kieran Mulholland sneaking in behind the D and scoring on the backhand on the breakaway. Past the sprawl, Colin McKee. And with 1.58 to go in the second period, it's a 6-2 game. Kieran Mulholland. Is it really six different goal scorers here for Ghost? I think it is. You want to talk about a balanced attack. Sean Moore, Michael Holt, John Saravalli, Logan Barnes, Brendan Schultz, Kieran Mulholland. Six goals from six different guys. And a 6-2 lead shortly after Father Judge felt like maybe they had, had a little bit of life when they made it a one-goal game. Penalty is coming up and a roughing minor. And you, you talk about not bad blood necessarily, but a little bit, but the intensity boiling over. It's a roughing on Brandon Barger. A power play for Father Judge will be there first of the game and it'll take us to the end of the second period unless Judge scores here. A penalty with 1.49 remaining in the second and a 6-2 lead now and Holy Ghost is a lot more comfortable than they were a few minutes ago and Father Judge shockingly made it a one goal game. Face-off win for Holy Ghost on the penalty kill but gobbled up in the corner for one of their top players. Anthony Casper tried to put it in down low. That was an intercept and cleared all the way down by Brian Butler. Shoots at length of the ice on the PK. Matthew Devine on the retrieval and here comes Father Judge on the move. Little dangle move in his own end. Devin Mallon. Now he kicked it off the back skate there up to his stick. That's pretty fancy stuff. Peels away from Sarah Volley. Banked it off the end boards. With 1.15 to go in the second period. And walking in front with the Crusaders trying to get one of them back here on the power play. Turnaround shot, and Butler 
Got a piece of that offering from Michael McDivitt that really didn't have much on it, kind of rolled off of his stick. McDivitt scoops it up in the corner. Wanted to connect over there with Matthew Moser. Kept it on the left point for Devine. Working in down low and just trying to you know, wait for the guy to come and then eventually he's going to take it from you. And that's what happened. Brian Butler steals it and flings it length of the ice for the long clear. And here in the second period, the long change and Holy Ghost was able to get in a couple new guys. Selzer is out there while Father Judge is back in the zone. Jabbing for it was Moser, couldn't get it out. Walking in, centering pass, and it's tipped off the stick of Schultz. Scooped up Ronnie Selzer. Long clear length of the ice. This will almost do it for the rest of the second period. And they're picking it up with 10 seconds left in the period. There will be some carryover power play for the third. Driven all the way down. Look out. Well, it's not quite it for the period because that's right on to Jason Sewell, and he was forced to cover with a couple of onrushing Father Judge Crusaders skaters. So with 4.9 left in the second, and it's an offensive zone draw after that shot all the way down was on goal instead of an icing. They'll have an offensive zone faceoff here. And a 6-2 lead for Holy Ghost almost to the end of the second period. Matthew Devine will try to win this faceoff and see if they can get a quick shot here. Referees are holding things up a little bit. Want to get things organized some and... I don't know if we had an equipment thing or... Get the goalie a new stick? Or maybe the goalie's stick was had a crack in it. And even with 4.9 seconds left, they want to get him a new... Pa yeah, it looks like it might be a little bent. So, they're yeah, they're, they're just checking it. And they, yeah, you can't play with a broken stick, so get him a new one. Even though, I mean, it's five seconds left and he's way on the other side of the ice, but that's the rule, of course. Off the faceoff, it goes into the corner. Chambers will knock it away. They won't get off a shot, and that's going to do it for our second period of play. And it ended up being a little more interesting than maybe I was anticipating after the way this game started, and the shots in the first were 23-3. to Shots in the second were actually, you know, far more even at 14-9 to as the teams exit. And we'll bring the Zamboni out and get a fresh sheet of ice. Sean Moore, Michael Holden, John Saravalli score in the first period for a 3-0 lead for Holy Ghost. But then back-to-back -back for Anthony Casper and Matthew Moser for Father Judge. Over a period later on the other side of the timeout, we had over 17 minutes of nothing-nothing hockey. And suddenly Father Judge was in the game and made it a one-goal game at 3-2. But then a minute later, Logan Barnes with 5.35 left, followed by Brendan Schultz. That was the one off the, off the glove, right? And then Kieran Mulholland with the little backhander on the breakaway that he slipped through with 1.58 left to make it a 6-2 game here after two. So it seems as though this is a fairly comfortable lead for Holy Ghost, and they're ready for a date with Malvern Prep next Thursday in the AAA semifinals. Well, they're still 17 minutes away from that, and there will be 11 seconds of carryover power play time to begin the third for Jim Morrison's Father Judge Crusaders as they effort to get one of those goals back. Bob Rotruck here with you live from Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar, Pennsylvania. And after two, it's Holy Ghost six, Father Judge two, in the AAA bracket of the 2022 Flyers Cup here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel, powered by SFBN. I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. 
For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAY-EASY. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville Trevose today like a good neighbor state farm is there hi I'm Marty Bystrom former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies in my experience in Major League Baseball I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure my friends at payroll service solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network if you are a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAY-EASY. Hey, Flyers fans, baseball's right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed schedule with an opening night celebration on June 7th. Meet Kate Flannery from The Office, grab a Bat Dog Dash bobblehead, and celebrate 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with dollar hot dogs and kids eat free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and Fryworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There's something going on at every game in 2022. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com.
Bob Rotrug rejoining you live from Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar. They even had a tweet before the games advising fans, hey, carpool if you can. You might have to park further away. The parking lot was jammed. It was hopping because we're allowed full capacity again. And we've got a good crowd here for this game between Holy Ghost and Father Judge. And Holy Ghost with a 6-2 lead after two periods. Shots on goal in the game are 37-12. to 12. Other scores into the AAA bracket over in Westchester. St. Joe's Prep leads Cardinal O'Hara. 2-0 in the first. That is the three versus six. So St. Joe's Prep should be advancing to face LaSalle College Prep High School Explorers next Thursday. And that game actually would be here at Hatfield Gray. The winner of this one against Malvern Prep next week would be at Ice Line 1. Single A, the Springfield Cougars with a 2 to nothing lead over Henderson. Springfield Delco is the 2 seed. Westchester Henderson is the 7. And also the Westchester East Vikings. No problem handling Radner over at Ice Line. That is a 6 nothing lead for Westchester in the first period. They might get to 10 goals and get that, get that game mercy ruled. It looked like we might have been on our way to that for this one too, but we're not. All of those games also airing on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel right now. Powered by the Sports Fan Base Network. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got the four games going on at once, including this one, as you can see. Bob Rotrug here with you live. Coming to you from Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar, and it's a 6-2 lead for Holy Ghost over Father Judge. Six different goal scorers for Ghost, who seemed in command, in control. A 3-0 lead, but a timeout for Father Judge. They got their act together a little bit. First they stopped the, the hemorrhaging somewhat. Then they later on got a couple of goals, made it a one-goal game, gave Holy Ghost maybe a little bit of a scare, but since then Holy Ghost took charge at the end of the second period for a three-goal lead. Well, another penalty is coming up right after a power play had been killed. This is a late penalty on Father Judge, pulling the goalie to get Stout out there, but then a touch for Father Judge, and a cross-check will be called. We'll put Holy Ghost on the power play. Eric Ty is the first to tell you that, you know, he feels like this is uh, one of the – that's a cross-checking penalty. You know, you talk about one of the great hockey tournaments in the country, and it really is. The Flyers' Cup has become that now in its 44th year and now in its second season of coverage on SFBN and the Flyers' Cup YouTube channel. It's just amazing the technology we have. All right, well, there's a little dig there, and a shot from the corner is on to Colin McKee and swept away and cleared all the way down after that drive from Lombardo. Holy Ghost is 0 for 2 on the power play. This is their third. Stick handling through center is Jaron Chambers. Flips that up in the air and a roller on the yellow dasher down low. And trying to pull it away is Sean Moore. The cross check is on Gavin Amlung for Father Judge. In behind the goal, Sean Moore looking for an opening. There's Stout, bottom of the left circle, swoops in behind the goalie. And over to the right wing corner now, just hanging on to the puck play and keep away. And found an opening, put it out in front. It dribbled on, and a big shot that goes wide from Brady Bajor. He just missed the target. And it comes off the end boards and all the way back out to the Holy Ghost side. One minute down and one minute to go on the Firebirds power play. And here they come with Bajor, head of steam, and across the line. Carries it in on the entry into the left wing corner. Out in front, Stout off the post. Stout had the one-timer from inside the left dot. On the handoff there from Bajor. And Stout hit it off the right iron. That's the glove of Colin McKee. Backhander pushed through the blue. Turn around. Maybe trying to shoot it with Sean Marshall. Thought better of it. And takes it down to the corner. And just trying to find the handle there around a couple of Father Judge Crusaders defenders. Way up high it goes for Chambers. Now poked away and flipped out of there. Father Judge clears the zone and back out to center. Chambers drops to Marshall and worked that east-west. Push it across and hustling in up the right wing. Boards away from the benches is Saravalli. Lost the puck, but he got his body in there on the forecheck. And on the other side is... Michael Hold, who scored one of their three goals in the first period, stolen by Judge. 
And out of the box, Gavin and Long. We're back to five on five. And Holy Ghost is 0 for 3 on the power play. Butler, nice move, flying up there, centering pass. Missed connection, it went a little bit wide to Michael Holt. Carried back the other way, and a 2 on 2 for Father Judge. Poked off the stick there of Kudzenau, and stolen back by Holy Ghost, and here they come. Up the right wing, it's Michael Holt into the zone, and he'll just throw it in off the end boards. He had John Saravalli with him, but there on the same side, on the short side, really couldn't do much on that connection. Here comes Sherwin in. Tried to shoot it in off, off the leg of Butler. Pinballing off the end boards and cobbled up and covered for the whistle for goaltender Jason Sewell. And play blown down now with 13.30 to go in the third period. McKee was racing for the bench there. I don't, I don't know what they were doing for uh, the goaltender Colin McKee. I didn't see a delayed penalty, no. So then I, I still don't know. Okay. <laughs> and a face-off here. Uh, in the Holy Ghost zone, Father Judge wins it out in front and kind of thud it off the stick there. Owen Sherwin had a chance, but it was bouncing and rolling a little awkwardly for him. Hustling in across the line of the right wing is Michael Holt, who dropped it off. There with him was Brandon Barger, but it's rolled into the corner, and Father Judge scoops it up. It's a 6-2 lead for Holy Ghost on goals for Sean Moore, Michael Holt, and John Saravalli. From Sean Marshall assisting. Those were the goals in the first period that made it 3-0. Shot in across the line. Sherwin. Stick save and then a cover and a whistle for Jason Sewell. After it was 3-0, it was a timeout for Father Judge and head coach Jim Morrison. And they talked things over. And for the next 17 plus minutes, it was nothing, nothing for a full period after that last goal with 7.23 left in the first from Sarah Ball. And then the next goal would come with 6.36 left in the second period. And Anthony Casper buried it to get Father Judge on the board. And then sneaking in behind the D was Matthew Moser 15 seconds later. He slips through the breakaway while he was being hooked. A penalty was going to be called, but Moser scored anyway. And shockingly, it was a one-goal game despite the huge shots disparity. But that was kind of the wake-up call for Holy Ghost after that. Logan Barnes a minute later with 5.35 left in the period. Brendan Schultz with 3.58 left. And then Kieran Williams on... Or I should say Kieran Mulholland on the breakaway, who's out there right now. And slipped through the backhander. And Holy Ghost in charge again. Largent in charge at 6-2. Cross ice pass for Ronnie Selzer. Thuds off his stick. He's in! Tough angle. Nice save. Colin McKee was on his angle. It hit him in the chest and he hangs on. With 12-19 to go in the third. And the shots in the game are Holy Ghost 6 uh, 39 and Father Judge 14, and the score is 6-2. to two. Ronnie Selzer is on the faceoff against Michael Fontaine for the Father Judge Crusaders. Selzer won it, but then stepping up and stealing is Sarah Volley. He's got a little two-on-one, turn into a partial breakaway. A dandy save for Sewell down low. Jason Sewell, the stick save denial with Anthony Casper turning that two-on-one into a little partial mini breakaway. They almost made it 6-3. Here comes Matthew Moser in again, and he's got Anthony Casper there with him. Instead, he crashes out of the boards, and a penalty is coming up. A hooking call will give Father Judge its second power play of the game. Here with 11.53 remaining in the third period. Hooking penalty is on Michael Holt of the Holy Ghost Prep Firebirds who still appear to be comfortably on their way to a rematch with Malvern Prep next Thursday at Ice Line. Rising liner from the top of the right circle. McDivitt is right into the chest, right above the red stripe and Holy Ghost logo of goaltender Jason Sewell. Right wing circle, and here is Matthew Moser on the faceoff for Father Judge. It is won by Ronnie Selzer. And rolled around the boards and out for Kieran Mulholland. Here's Father Judge to start it up again. Lead pass is blocked down on the blue line and smacked right back in for Colin Moore. So good work to begin the PK here for the Firebirds of Ghost. Mulholland was kind of tying up now and there, really making things tricky for him. He goes in behind the goal and almost had a chance to steal. Pulled out of there, but staying with it is Ronnie Selzer. Now he's got the pickoff at center. Drops it off, killing more clock. As he leaves it there, backpedaling is more, and he tried to shoot it down ice. Boy, there's a nice block at center to keep that from sailing all the way backwards. McDivitt got a piece of it on the red line to knock it down, but 
Another effort there, and this one from Ryan Lippy. He cleared it again. Now they'll try the entry on the left wing side with Matthew Devine into the zone. Rolled into the corner. Lippy there again on the back end. Along the boards, trying to get it out. It's kind of tangled up over there. Landon Stout is down there, too. It rolls out of the point. McDivitt has it. And then his pass goes off of the leg of Landon Stout. Stayed there with it and hammered all the way down with Kieran Mulholland slamming at the length of the ice and then climbing over the boards for the change on the PK for the Holy Ghost Prep Firebirds. Ten and a half to go in the third and 38 seconds remaining on the penalty to Zach Hers, number 72. Here comes Father Judge in again. Colin Myers on the handoff for Matthew Moser. Out in front. It's chipped just a little bit wide for Matthew Devine, who was open in the low slot. Now Moser trying to flick it on. It's broken up. Here comes a two-on-one potentially for Holy Ghost. Barnes is offside. Uh, for a tick there, I thought he had stayed onside. It was kind of a late whistle. Barnes had just missed keeping his skate blade on the line. And he collided with Matthew Devine after the whistle there. It was almost a two-on-one short-handed rush for Holy Ghost, but it was whistled down with 17 seconds to go on the penalty against Zach Burrs and 10.09 remaining here in the third. It's Holy Ghost 6, Father Judge 2 in this 4 versus 5 opening round matchup in the AAA bracket of the Flyers Cup. The, the single A and double A had already started on Monday and Tuesday. But this is the first game of the AAA bracket with only six teams at the AAA level this year. A couple of teams are moving up, moving down, and kind of rotating around. Gavin Amlong will stand him up and throw him down and get the puck back as we're back to five on five. And Judge is 0 for 2 on the power play today. Weaving across the blue line, Myers, and now he shot it across the grain from the top of the right circle. Fired it wide past the right skate of Jason Sewell. Here comes Holy Ghost rushing in on the left wing. And on the dot there, Sean Moore, the handoff. Cross ice comes out of the right point. Brendan Schultz is there shooting. Blocked down, and now Stout trying to lift a stick and win it. And he does. Good work, Stout. And a shot from the point, Schultz. And he elevated that one a little high on the line drive over the glove of Colin McKean. Down to 9-10 to go in the third period. A 6-2 lead for Holy Ghost. And then Schultz couldn't quite hold it on his stick on the line. It just slips right past and back out to center. Quick retrieval, and Bezier is right back in. Good work, Schultz, on the hustle there. Shot Bezier, and it's a save for McKee. And then he's got a lasso, that one, and haul it right back in to get a whistle. Now with 8.58 to go in the third, and a couple quick ones that were fired on McKee. Ups the total shot count to 41 to 16. Shots in the period are just four to four. Pretty even, of course, Judge did have a power play in there. On the face off, it's Sean Marshall winning the draw for Holy Ghost and then smacked around the boards for John Saravalli. You can see some of the student section down there too. And yeah, we're bringing the students back. We're bringing the cheering back and, and getting the real feel for the Flyers Cup again. Last year, we were just happy that we were able to do it after we had a couple of delays and it went on a little bit later than normal, but we got it in, in the, at all, it was, was really uh, something for Eric Ty and company. But now we're here and with the fans, and boy, it feels normal again. Sluck with a shot, and two-handed punched away there for McKee. From in behind the goal, setting it up is Sean Marshall out in front. Just missed the connection there for Dominic Lombardo. Very close to lucky seven on that. Now a little dangle here. Colin Howell is in. Nice recovery back, pedaling Colin Moore. A shot on a backhander from the left wing is shoved wide from Gavin Louch. Scooped up Marshall, and he'll hustle right underneath our cameras. And here he comes. Look at how fast he's going. All the way down to the left wing corner and getting inside on Sean Miller. He got dumped on the end boards there. Popped up. Kicks it to his stick and still trying to shake out the cobwebs after he got slammed down a little bit. Is the uh, captain for Holy Ghost. And now an intercept for the Crusaders. They kind of break up that momentum and clear it away. 7.40 to go in the third and no scoring here in the third. It was 3-0 in the first. 6-2 at the intermission after two periods. And still 6-2 now past the midway mark in the third period with only 7.5 to go in the game. Chipped in deep on Father Judge behind goalie Colin McKee. Cross ice pass is on the tape. Colin Walsh settles that. Tossed it up there. He was trying to connect with Matthew Devine on the move. It hit off the stick of a back checking Holy Ghost Prep Firebirds defender and now cleared all the way back to the Father Judge side. Crusaders starting it up again. Nallon tipped it forward. Chambers peels away there from Dominic Lombard, or I should say from uh, Colin Walsh who was after him. And now here he comes into the zone. Oh, nice move, Purge. And he flipped it over the shoulder and over the crossbar. 
Almost a goal there for Zach Purs. Out in front trying to kick it on was Kieran Mulholland, and McKee might add a piece of that one too. Zach Purs almost went to the upper far corner there after some pretty moves. Walking into the zone, a little one-on-two move is really what it was. Barnes hung onto it a little long. That allowed McDivitt to hustle back, and that was Barber, Barger, rather. And uh, hustling back, McDivitt stole it. Boy, getting physical there, and a sharp angle shot from the corner. Matthew Devine, after he just sort of body chambers off the puck, and, you know, you gotta, you gotta use your muscle a little bit. McDivitt from the right dot, he tries a shot. That, that hit off of a stick and bounced away. Yeah, we're getting a, a little physical here. Barnes, a breakaway, hit on goal. And now I think it hit off the glove there of McKee. I don't think he got hit the post. I think McKee didn't even budge. And that was put right on the glove for Logan Barnes in search of his second goal of the game. A little bit of a track meet racing back and forth now. Walking in, carried in behind the goal is Holton over to the right wing corner, down to 5.45 to go in the third. A little give and go with Schultz. Holt found a lot of traffic and it's stolen away by Father Judge. Across the red line, Matthew Moser. Holt catching up to him after he lost the puck. Hanging on to it is Matthew Moser over to the right wing corner. Centering pass. Couldn't quite find the connection there with Fontaine. Hustling over left point and Casper there to keep it in. Casper now had it. It bounced right over his stick. He was wide open to the slot. Now a little one on two for Bezier if he can make it happen. He got bumped and slammed off the puck there. Father Judge hustling back and a nice play on D for Michael Fontaine. Roland had it stolen, Bezier, he's in with Moore. Bezier to the left wing, centering, and just missed it. Slips a little bit, bit behind Moore and sailed over to the right boards. Yeah, it looks like Holy Ghost, you know, trying to play a little bit faster here, and why not? Hustling back the other way is Father Judge. Matthew Moser turns the corner, in on goal, diving across Sewell. Did he get a piece of that, really? Yeah, he got it. I, I'm, I'm just waiting to see what, what the heck happened there. You know, again, I think there was a little bit of a discussion in the corner. Boy, what? I think they were denouncing the two nothing score that we had given you earlier in the St. Joe's Cardinal Harrow game. Here's Bezier. He's trying to take it coast to coast. Cuts his way in. And he shot it a little bit wide. Now all the way back up high to Sluck and a shot through the screen. A stick save, Colin McKee spots that one and got a piece of it. With 4.35 to go in the third. Catalo the other way for Father Judge. Moore is staying with him. Catalo lost it in the corner. Turnaround shot right on. Oh, Sewell felt that, that one right in the belly there on the big hammer from the bottom of the left ring off the drive of Owen Sherwin. Nice save, you know, and I feel like maybe we've kind of lost the shuffle here. The performance of Jason Sewell. We, we've talked a little more about Colin McKee because he's seen more shots. But Sewell's been pretty good with 18 saves on 20 shots. You know, gave up a couple back-to-back, -back, one of which was on a breakaway. And Father Judge had a little bit of life for, you know, just uh, uh, a couple minutes here in that second period before Holy Ghost distanced themselves away again. But Jason Sewell has made sure that it didn't get more interesting than it did. Roll around on the left point. Kevin Necht on D is there. Put it in down low for Robert Catalo. We're down to four minutes to go. No scoring for either side here in the third. It remains 6-2. to two. Lombardo a lead pass, and now it's touched back to him from Chambers. Lombardo over to the left wing, and catching up to him, the long reach of Sean Miller, and he caught up to that and knocked it away over to the corner. Collision down in the corner. Lombardo is there. Boy, they're really fighting for it down there. Chambers and Sean Miller. A couple of big bodies weaving out in front. And there was Sarah Volley. Poked back to the point and a shot goes in off the end board. Actually all the way on to McKee. Who will hang on and cover. And we're down to 3.31 to go here in this first round game. With Holy Ghost seemingly and comfortably on their way to a rematch. With Malvern prep next Thursday. February 16th, losing at Ice Line against Malvern 4-1 in a tight one. And a month earlier, losing 4-3 against Malvern. Back in November, they played at Wells Fargo Center, and Malvern won that one 3-1. And so the point is, is that Holy Ghost has 
made it very interesting. And just because Malvern's the first place team defending state champs and the one seed, it, it's, you know, some people might kind of start to think, oh, oh it'll be a gimme for them. Uh, no, I, I don't think that's the case at all. I, I think it could be, they, they've already played three fairly tight, pretty interesting games. And if Holy Ghost can find their offense a little bit more against Malvern Prep, then watch out. Here's a quick shot from the bottom of the left circle, tried by Devin Nallen, goes in front of the crease and to the corner, and then cleared all the way down. And that is an icing. And Malvern knows it too. You know, they, they know that they've got, they, they, they know all season they've had the target on their backs and you know, they're, they're the team that everyone is gunning for somewhat. I mean, it's the defending state champs and defending Calder, I should say, Flyers Cup champs after all. Here's a steal uh, behind the goal for Holy Ghost. Well, Ghost will get a fourth crack at those guys. And it's just one off night and one hot goalie, and you can make a difference. Now out in front, jabbed in and scored. Poked in the right pad of Colin McKee for Ronnie Selzer. With 2.23 to go in the third, Selzer stayed with it. I think it went off the right pad once, but he was right there to poke it back in again. And Selzer scores. Lucky number seven for Holy Ghost, and it is seven to two. So we went almost another 17 minutes, another period without a goal. And Holy Ghost tacks on another at the end. And they got a day with Malvern Prep coming up in one week at Ice Line next week in the AAA semifinals. Steal for Holt. Here's Sluck there behind the goal and bounced around. Little dangle there. Chopped away from Gavin Rauch. And then steered back to the Father Judge side. Ghost defeated Father Judge back in November 9-2. And this one, they lead comfortably 7-2. Moore is in, lost it, and here's a little poke over for Barnes from Holt. And now Barnes weaving his way in as Bezier. Never really got off the shot. He hung on to it a tick, and Carlos Rowland caught up to him. Kept it on the point, and not quite. Back to the neutral zone for Slook, who throws it across to Colin Moore. Down to one and a half to go in the game, and a 7-2 lead for the Firebirds of Holy Ghost Prep. Hey, we've got double-A hockey coming up after this. So I'm, I'm looking forward to our four versus five game. Pensbury against Avon Grove, which really should be a good one. Pensbury's got some serious offense. Avon Grove, they've got kind of more structure. They've had some good defense this year. And the winner to play the one seed, we assume, uh, Penridge next week. Here's Small Holland, a little dangle move into the corner, and he's got Barnes there with him. With under a minute to go in the game. Scooped up by Father Judge. All these other games are on the Flyers Cup YouTube channels as well here, presented by SFBN. It's high school hockey's version of March Madness in the Philadelphia area. And it's, it's pretty darn cool. All right, here comes Ghost with 33 seconds to go. Across the Purs, who was denied earlier and off the post. And now a quick shot is all the way on Mulholland. Into the glove of McKee. Well, the kids from Holy Ghost and the student section that came out to support, they're loving it, and they should. And they should make some noise. And they, you know, we should get that cheering and that celebrating and atmosphere again at the Flyers Cup. Purs is in across the line, a little drop now. With five seconds left, Barger fired it high, fired it wide. Off the end glass, Purs is there, and that is it. And in the opening round matchup of the AAA bracket of the Flyers Cup, the Holy Ghost Prep Firebirds hold off the Father Judge Crusaders and win 7-2. Shots in the game were 46-21. Felt a little casual in some ways in the third period, going scoreless almost to the very end before Ronnie Selzer scored with 2.23 left. Well, here comes the handshake line, which is a wonderful hockey tradition here. Colin McKee is getting some hugs and embraces from his teammates, and deservedly so. And here's the captain, and, and uh, gets to the front of the handshake line, and 
congratulates Jason Sewell, who I thought was quite good. And they're going to need Sewell to be very good in one week because they're going up against Malvern Prep for a fourth time this year. 4-1, 3-1, and 4-3 were the three losses for Ghost against Malvern this season. So none of them blowouts. Even the 4-1 game was tight for a while. And that was the most recent one on February 16th. This, uh, this Holy Ghost team got off to a good start, and then they were a little sluggish, and they just couldn't get over the hump in some of their games. They lost some tight ones in there. The offense had kind of fallen flat and wasn't getting the bounces. They finished in the A-pack at 1-5-1. and one. But uh, it's absolutely not a gimme for Malvern Prep coming up, and they know it, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they were watching this game closely. They get the bye, so they got some rust to shake off, a longer gap between games for the APAC champs. But in the meantime, a nice tune-up and successfully accomplished for Holy Ghost Prep in their 7-2 win over Father Judge. My name, Bob Rotruck. We're coming to you live from Hatfield Gray Ice Rink in Colmar, Pennsylvania. And it's the 44th edition of the Flyers Cup. And it's Holy Ghost moving on, defeating Father Judge 7-2 on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel presented by SFBN.